Now let's look at parallel data fetching. In parallel data fetching, requests in a route are eagerly initiated and will load data at the same time. This reduces the total time it takes to load data. Let's understand better with an example. For the mock data, we will once again rely on the JSON placeholder API. This time though, we will use the slash posts and slash albums endpoints to create a user profile page. The posts endpoint returns an array of 100 posts. Each post has a user ID, ID, title, and body. The albums endpoint returns an array of 100 albums. Each album has a user ID, ID, and title. To both endpoints, we can append user ID as a query parameter to filter the posts and albums by the user. So question mark, user ID is equal to one. You can see we have 10 posts, all written by the same user. Similarly, slash albums, question mark, user ID is equal to one. We have 10 albums written by the same user. Now, if you're building a user profile page, we might want to show both the user's posts and their albums side by side. Since these requests don't depend on each other, we can fetch them in parallel. Let's jump to VS Code and see this in action. Inside your app folder, create a new folder called user-parallel. We will pass the user ID as a route parameter, so create an ID folder inside user parallel, so square brackets, ID, and add a page.tsx file inside it. We have created a user dynamic route. First, let's define our TypeScript types. Type post, which contains user ID, ID, title, and body, and type album, which contains user ID, ID, and title. User ID is common across the two types, but here, ID and title refer to the album ID and title. For our component, we will call it user profile. So export default async function, user profile. Make this component async to support data fetching. Now here's the trick. We will define our data fetching functions outside the component. The function name is get user posts, and it is an async function that takes user ID as a parameter. It fetches the post for the given ID from the JSON placeholder API and returns a response. So const res is equal to await fetch, passing in JSON placeholder slash posts question mark user ID is equal to the user ID parameter and return res.json. The get user albums function is identical, but for albums. Let me duplicate the code and change the function name as well as the endpoint. Get user albums slash albums user ID is equal to the passed in user ID. Now let's define our page component. The component will receive the user ID as a route parameter. So we destructure params of type promise which contains ID of type string. ID here is our folder name. We will await params and destructure user ID from it. Now we will initiate both data fetching requests in parallel using promise.all. So const posts data is equal to get user hosts passing in ID. Similarly, const albums data is equal to get user albums passing in ID. We then call await promise.all, we specify an array of post data and albums data. We assign it to posts and albums. Due to the nature of async and await, an awaited request inside the component will block any requests below it. This is why we initiated both requests before awaiting any of them. For the JSX, I will paste the entire component code to save time. It is a two column layout with posts on the left and albums on the right. Take a look at the browser. Navigate to user parallel slash ID, which is one, for example. And we see the 10 posts on the left and 10 albums on the right. Our data fetching is working as expected. The key to parallel data fetching is initiating the requests before awaiting any of them. Let's add a loading.tsx file and a delay to the two functions to see this in action. So one second delay to get user posts and one second delay to get user albums. Next, 
adjacent to page.tsx, create loading.tsx with a simple React component. I've used Tailwind CSS classes to create a loading spinner. Now, if we visit slash user parallel slash two, for example, both columns will load at the same time after a one second delay. This is much faster than waiting a second for the posts and another second for the albums. Parallel data fetching is particularly useful when you have multiple independent pieces of data that you need to fetch. Instead of fetching them one after another, you can fetch them all at once and reduce the total loading time. All right, you should now have a solid grasp of how and when to use both sequential and parallel data fetching in your applications. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.